Hi everyone, my name is Karen. This is my channel Rather Be Reading and today I'm bringing to you some hidden gem book recommendations. So, hidden gems. I have seen, you know, in my years of watching booktube, quite a lot of different recommendations videos around hidden gem books, books that people consider to be less popular on booktube. I'm going on real, real, real hidden gem. Every single one of the books on this list, I'm going to be talking about seven books. All seven books have less than 1,000 ratings on Goodreads, which means less than 1,000 people have read it and given it a rating on Goodreads, which is just astonishing. Um, I have actually read quite a lot of books that were uh, had less than a thousand ratings, but I specifically have chosen ones for this recommendations video that I have given like four or higher stars because obviously they're the ones that I want to recommend. I don't want to recommend to you shit books. So yeah, let's jump straight in and talk about these hidden gem books. I am going to be talking about these in order from like the ones with the most amount of ratings to the least amount of ratings, just for funsies. I thought that would be a fun way to order them. So the first book I'm going to talk about is called Don't Stand So Close by Luana Lewis. I believe this is one that I maybe read in like my first year on Booktube. This one has 990 ratings um, on Goodreads. This is a thriller novel. It follows a woman who had some kind of tragedy in her past and following the tragic event, she, my hair looks awful today, she became agoraphobic and has been like living trapped in her, not trapped, but like living in her home, not leaving her home uh, for the past three years. There is this huge snowstorm going on outside. Her husband is out at work. There's this huge snowstorm going home when this girl turns up on her doorstep um, asking to be let in, like out from the cold. Um, and when she lets this girl in, this girl starts to reveal that maybe she knows more about this woman and her husband than just a passing stranger. Um, I did really enjoy this book when I read it. Like I said, I've read it quite a few years ago now, but it was very, very enjoyable. Um, and so, like I said, very much a hidden gem. Uh, the next, so then we take, we go from 900 and we take a real sharp drop in number of ratings. Like the majority of these have less than 500, less than 300. Like we're talking low ratings. The next book I'm talking about is Darkest Place by Jay Ford. This one has 298 ratings on Goodreads. This is another thriller novel. This is one that I believe I originally read from NetGalley, one of the first NetGalley e-arcs that I ever read. This one is another thriller, as I mentioned. Um, this one is about a woman. This is just has such a creepy premise. It's about a woman who wakes up in the middle of the night in her apartment and is there's a man in her room. She freaks out. Um, you know, by the time she gets up, whatever, the man has disappeared. She calls the police. And when the police come, however, her home is locked from the inside. All There's no sign of damage to any of the doors. All the windows are locked. There's no possible way that someone could have gotten inside her apartment. They've checked. There's no one there. Um, and so they think that maybe she just had a nightmare or whatever. However, then it keeps happening. She keeps waking up with a man in her bedroom with no possible way that this man could have gotten inside. Um, the police think that she's just crazy that whole chestnut um because they less than 300 ratings which is just crazy uh the next hidden gem recommendation is jane doe january my 20 year search for truth and justice by emily winslow this one has 267 ratings on goodreads so this is a non-fiction story it's about a woman who was raped when she was in college um and it's 20 years later and she's moved on with her life she's managed to move on and um live a you know successful life she's gotten married she's had two children all of that when she's she's now living i think she's was american and she's now living in the uk at this, at this point in time when she is contacted by the police to say that they have a man in custody who when they ran his dna matched her rape kit and they now have the man who raped her after all of these years um and it's very much about her quest for justice and all of that being like rehashed after all of this time and all of that i really enjoyed this book um obviously two trigger warnings um for rape but yeah i just thought this was a really interesting book i like reading books um non-fiction books about survivors and all of that so 
Um, definitely recommend checking that one out. Uh, the next book I want to talk about is called While the Others Sleep by Tom Becker. This one has 163 ratings um, on Goodreads. Again, I think this may be one that I've read in like my, I think all of these I've read since I've been, yeah, they are. They're all ones I've read since I've been on BookTube. Um, so this one has 163 ratings. This one is a YA type of novel. It's about a boy who, it's, so it's set in the Victorian era and it's about a boy who is suffering with chronic insomnia and his parents end up putting him in like a sanatorium or like a mental asylum um, due to like his issues with sleep. However, when he gets there, his issues with insomnia just get even worse and it's all just about the strange goings on at the asylum with all of the other patients. It's like a um, youth like sanatorium um, for like wealthy children so you get a lot about different the different kids and their different mental afflictions I remember finding this book very creepy and it very much scared me about ever getting insomnia just generally for insomnia because I really love sleep and getting insomnia is actually one of my great fears in life <laughs> So there's that. Um, the next book I want to talk about is one that I've actually read quite recently on my channel and I didn't realize it had so few ratings and that is Witches, What Women Do Together by Sam George Allen. This one has 96 ratings. So this one is another nonfiction story. It is just a nonfiction story about kind of feminism and it's called Witches but it doesn't have a super amount to do with witches or witchcraft or anything like that it more deals with the power of women when women get together in groups kind of it does talk a little bit about um, the different competitiveness that can arise between women in workplaces but it talks about women in so many different areas it is an Australian book which is one of the reasons I think why it has so few ratings um so it, it is kind of Australian like focused obviously because it's by an Australian author but I definitely think it's readable by people from all areas um and so it talks about women in lots of different like areas like women in sport women in farming um women in sex work um ballet dancers and you know so it looks at ballet dancers which is considered to be a very feminine pursuit and then women in different types of sport and farming which is considered to be a not very feminine but it looks at all different types of aspects i actually found this book very educational in some parts particularly to do with the sex work aspects um, and so I say I really enjoyed that book um, and I didn't realize at the time that I read it that it had so few ratings so there's that uh, next it's probably my favorite one on this list um, which is to the edge of shadows by Joanne Graham this one has 90 ratings on Goodreads um, it's another thriller and this is another one that I originally read from NetGalley I do actually own a copy of this book I enjoyed this book so much I think I gave it 4.5 stars that I did purchase my own copy of it um, to support um, the author but I lent it to my mum um, and she still has it, so I don't have it here to show you. Um, so this one is about a thriller. It's about, so we kind of follow two perspectives. We follow a girl, I think she's in like a late, no, she might even be in her early 20s, a woman who, when she was 13, she was involved in this terrible car accident. I think her parents were killed in the car accident and she has now has no memory prior to being 13 um, and I believe she's living with like an aunt or something and we also get the perspective from this other girl of like a similar age or whatever who we don't really know who she is who is basically stalking the first character is very obsessed with her and her life um, and we basically follow those two perspectives it was very creepy um the perspectives from the like stalking character I thought were pretty well done because quite often I find in thrillers when they have like a stalking perspective I don't really enjoy those chapters but I did really enjoy it in that in this book I thought it was very had like a very creepy ominous tone to it and I definitely recommend checking out that book like I said I gave that 4.5 stars when I originally read it and the final hidden gem recommendation that I have for you is The Gift of Looking Closely by Al Brooks which has a total of 37 ratings on Goodreads it's just crazy um so this one is very hard to explain it has a very confusing synopsis just when you read it and now even having read the book I'm it's still very hard to explain it's basically literary fiction I guess you would call it but it reads very thriller like in tone to me um it's basically about this girl who when, well, I think she's like again in her like maybe early 20s or late teens. When she was younger, she was tricked by her terminally ill mother into like helping her terminally ill mother commit suicide. Um, and she's got a lot of issues and resentment around that. 
um, and she's basically gotten involved in a lot of shoplifting since then is like something that she does and she gets caught one day and she basically gets assigned um, community service and what she has to do for this community service is um, help this um, elderly disabled woman um, like a paralyzed woman in her home um, and she basically she helps the woman but the woman tells her a lot of stories and stuff like that and it becomes to mirror a lot of the relationship that she had with her mother especially with this woman being ill and elderly um and this is a lot of parallels in from the past into the future and like i said it does read very thriller in tone and i remember really enjoying this book and it's kind of astonishing to me that this book only has 37 ratings so there you have it those are some hidden gem recommendations like i said some real hidden gems like i said we went from a nice like only one of these books even has more than 300 ratings so these are definitely books that have flown very far under the radar that I would recommend picking up and checking out and seeing if you enjoy if you can get your hands on a copy um, I would love to chat with you guys in the comments below if you have read any of these books then I would love to chat about them or if you have any hidden gem recommendations that you think are really books that just like no one ever talks about or maybe have very few people have ever even read I would love to chat about them in the comments down below please like this video if you liked it please subscribe if you want to see more from my channel that is all I have for this video today bye guys